Hey everyone, Tech Steve here, and I'm partnered with KTC to show you the H34S18S. This is a 34 inch ultra wide monitor with 3440 by 1440 WQHD resolution. It has up to 165 Hertz, a one millisecond response time, and it supports SDR and HDR content with up to 10.7 billion colors. And with the 1500R curved screen, it's gonna immerse you into a panoramic gaming experience. This is one of the best budget monitors that you can get for your hard earned money, but best of all, it's under $300. So now we're gonna see everything that this monitor comes with and how to put everything together so you can start playing your games right away. Here's the mounting leg that comes in the box and it has some wire maintenance as well as a slider. And it has this nice little red ring at the bottom of it. It also comes with this V-mount looking foot, which slides on the bottom of it and you just insert three screws to hold it together. You also get this power supply, which is around 65 watts, a display port cable, HDMI cable. You also get a user manual, warranty card, and you get this handy screwdriver for mounting the feet on. One thing I like about this monitor is that it's packed very well and it has a nice curvature look to it. On the back of it has this RGB light and there's some screw holes so you can mount it on your own bracket if you don't want to use the stand that came in the box. And for a cool touch, it has this magnetic door right here to conceal all the cables on it. On the back of it, you're going to find your power input as well as two HDMI inputs, two DisplayPort inputs, and it has a headphone jack. And once you put on this metal foot, all you need to do is just snap it right into place. Now this monitor has plenty of adjustments. For example, you can raise it up, you can lower it down, you can move it from side to side. You can see right there. And if you need to, you can tilt it just a little bit, just to make sure it's lined up with your table and your computer. So you find the perfect fit and you're good to go. So here's another look at the RGB light. It has that nice, cool gaming look to it. I will tell you that you do not have access to change the colors or the brightness. It's going to pretty much go through all those different patterns on its own. To power it up and get to some controls, there is a joystick right here that you can move up and down and side to side, and I'll show you what it can do. So there's all kinds of controls. If you press it in the center, you can see your display, your colors, change the gamma, the temperature, as well as blue light. You have your gaming settings that you can see right there, and it does support FreeSync and G-Sync, which you can turn off and on. And you have features like timer, crosshair, frame counter, and it has different languages such as English, German, Espanol, and a few other settings where you can change this positioning of this on screen graphics. Now, one thing I want to point out is that under audio, you do see mute and volume, and that's only for the headphone jack on the back of it because this monitor does not have speakers. If you move it to the right, you'll get these different picture profiles that are built right into it. If you press it to the left hand side, you get access to some of those gaming features like the crosshair. If you press it upwards, then you can manually select the inputs. And if you press it down, it doesn't do anything. Since this screen is a VA panel, you will lose some of the color when you move it from side to side, but it does have a 4001 contrast ratio, 123% of sRGB and 98% of DCI P3 that provides more accurate color reproduction. As I mentioned earlier, this monitor does not have speakers to demo, so I plugged in some Creative Lab speakers. Now keep in mind, this is a 21 by nine aspect ratio monitor, so in order to fit the screen, you would need to stretch it out quite a bit. But once I stretched it out, I could barely notice the difference when I was playing the Xbox Series X on it. The refresh rate on this monitor is 60 frames per second. However, if you use AMD FreeSync or NVIDIA's G-Sync, you can get up to 165 Hertz using a computer with the DisplayPort cable that's included in the box. Now, if you're using a PS5 or Xbox Series X, you're gonna see 60 frames per second, but in my findings, I was able to get 120 Hertz 1440p resolution and considering the price of this monitor, it was a pretty good gaming experience. One of the benefits of having a 21 by nine aspect ratio monitor is that 
It gives you the ability to almost have the real estate of two separate monitors on your desk and not take up a lot of extra space. And this comes in handy, especially for people who use computers a lot. And this is ideal because you can have your emails on one side of the screen. You can pull up your web browser or search through all your favorite application on the other side of the screen. And for some people, I think this can increase your productivity so you can get through your day much easier. And the fact that this monitor has four separate inputs, you can run your computer on the display port, you can run your gaming consoles on the HDMI port. So this 34 inch ultra wide KTC monitor is very versatile for just about any use case you can think of. This monitor does have a matte finish, so it's good on reflecting glare. But if you do have a lot of bright lights in your room, ideal is to angle it away from those lights so you don't see the glare as much. In my opinion, if you're looking for a Dell on a monitor and you don't want to spend thousands of dollars like I did on my Apple display, then you can get something like this that's going to be great for an entry level gamer. And if you have the computer with the AMD or the G Sync, you're going to be able to get the 165 Hertz, which makes it a great performer. Is the black levels inky? They're decent, but at the price point of this monitor, it's definitely worth taking a look at and see if it's the right one for you. Now, I will leave links in the description below. Go read other people's reviews before you take my word for it, and you can make the best decision for yourself. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.